So, so I will go back to the today's class. So, uh, this week, this time is about the welfare. Okay? じゃあ、これこれはまあここのこっちに行きや。ウェルフェア。ターゲットイズエルダリーフォアディサビリティーズ。エルダリーとかディサビリティーズ。フィジカルチャレンジ。フィジカルハンディキャップピーポ。オブ
to sophisticated piece of computer equipment. The simple board, it's like a communication chart book. っていうのはこういうやつです。コミュニケーションチャートブックっていうのは、なんかイラストレーション is shown on this book。and what he wants、the、what the patient wants to do or ask is pointed out。this illust、this illust、this illust or something。is a book。コミュニケーションブックとかコミュニケーションチャートって言われてるやつです。で、まあ、イラストレーションとかだったんだけど、あとは words and symbols。like、これは。あの、イラストレーションですね。で、あとなんかワードシンプルとかなんかな、なんかまあシンプルシンプルとかシンプルシンプルシンプルワード is shown on the display and pointed out コミュニケーション8 that speak also the, this is using some electric technologies speaking out equipment is also there シンプルコミュニケーション8 repeated phase or more complex コミュニケーション8 or words and phrases can Any words and phrases can be input and it expressed by, by speaking. とか、ハイテックコミュニケーションエイトだったら、スキャンニングとかタッチスクリーンとか使われてますよっていうことで、ちょっとどれを見せるのがいいのかな、ちょっとわかんないんだけど、まあ、いいか、ちょっとこれでも見てみますね。What is the main problem? Computer speech therapists receive half an hour at universities and after they see. So it is silly and selfish because when we arrive at their doors, they start to worry because we do know more about our equipment than they do. We also do not know much about how you use your technologies on the web. Wire 
wire is uh, operated by bodily movement like this. So this makes some functions to to control the hooks. Three movement can be controlled by bodily movement. Ah, the other side's movement is also used for the control. Any angles it can be locked. Here, 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 Shoulder movement. Yes. The well, presently the most of the artificial limb is myoelectric control. The Kinden use electric myography signal or potential from voluntary con contracted muscle. Contracted muscle, not voluntary, by intention. Zui undo. Voluntary control. Zui undo. Within the personal residual limbs on the surface of the skin to control the movement of the processes. Elbow friction, friction, extension, is to supination and pro pronation, rotation, hand opening and closes of the fingers. So the, ma, これ socket で、ここにエレクトロ、エレクトロードで、えっと、センシングザシグナルアンドシグナルプロセッシングパートアンドコントロールですファンこういうことですよとでそれでマイオエレクティックプロセッシングはバリバリアスカインドマイオエレクティックプロセッシングはコマーシャルにアベラブルなこういうことです This US company's ID とかこれも US company の、えっと、ルークアンこれはデケッデカインテグレイテッドソリューションはディーン・カーメン、ベリベリフェイマスインベンターズ、インベンターズ、えー、サポーティングカンパニー、ファンデッドカンパニー、ちょっとこれビデオ見ますか。The US Food and Drug Administration has approved a robotic arm for amputees, named for the Luke Skywalker character in Star Wars, which can perform multiple simultaneous movements. A huge advance of the ubiquitous metal hook currently in use. 
The FDA said on Friday it allowed the sale of the DECA arm system, Dr. Luke, after viewing data, including a US Department of Veterans Affairs study in which 90% of people who used the device were able to perform complex tasks. These included using keys and locks, feeding themselves, using zippers, and brushing and combing hair. The prosthetic arm was developed by New Hampshire-based DECA Research and Development, founded by Dean Kamen, the inventor of the Segway and other devices. The Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency said it provided more than $40 million in funding to DECA to develop the robotic arm as part of a $100 million project to improve prosthetics. The FDA said the device is the first prosthetic arm that can carry out multiple simultaneous movements, controlled by signals from electromyogram electrodes that detect electrical activity caused by the contraction of muscles. The electrode sends signals to a computer processor in the arm, which can then make up to 10 specific movements using a combination of switches and sensors. The Pentagon's involvement came about because of the type of injuries sustained by U.S. troops in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. The Pentagon said more than 1,800 U.S. service members underwent major limb amputations as a result of injuries sustained in those wars. And that's it. Basically, it only took me a couple hours to learn how to use it. Using my feet was very intuitive. The best thing this has given me is grip, grasp. I can grasp things now. For the first time in 45 years since uh, you know, from Vietnam, I'm able to use my left hand, which is very emotional at times. When I first did it, golly, it was so great. So with my right foot, I can raise it up, raise it down, and then I rotate by rotating my foot. I can rotate it on. These are accelerometers. And they, they, I position those in time and space, and then when I hit the switch, they know where they are, so when I start moving my feet, they send signals, wireless signals, up to the computers in the arm. The FDA said the robotic arm could be used by people with limb loss occurring at the shoulder joint, mid-upper arm, or mid-lower arm, but not at the elbow or wrist joint. Well, this is Pentagon supported well, because the many soldiers, retired soldiers, lost their arm is there in the United States, so therefore this is supported by the VA. Uh, B-Bionic is also UK, UK company there, is, uh, it is very famous. And recently, the, to, make more, to make it more, more low cost, this is one Japanese venture company, the Handy Arm. The concept is accessible myoelectric hand. The device manufacturing process, it means the 3D printer using. Easy to exchange parts, so the 3D printer usage. So therefore, the, it can be it, uh, users, users, uh, customers, it, uh, individual customers, it, uh, spec, for example, the length of the fingers or uh, the position of the fingers can be changed easily. Personalized design, it means. So using smartphone to process muscle signal, so it is uh, to reduce the cost. And the reduction, reduction of the number of motors, one motor per one three degree of freedom fingers, finger. Mechanism adapted to the various size and shapes uh, can be examined, has been examined like, like this. And the 3D printer production, so the reduce uh, reduction production cost easy to repair and customize. ということで、例えば、えー、っと、どっかどっかどっか、まあ、これでこれでこれか。これだから、なんか、フォローインザシェイプオブザオブジェクトって言いたいな。
でローコストバイニングハンドで、あとはアフ,アフォーダブルバイニングハンドで、だからそう、therefore the, this 3D プリンテッドコンポーネントは、パームパートとバックカバーパートと、PCB トレイアッパーパートと、PCB トレイローアーパートということで、この、この、these parts, this, this design drawings is open to public on their site. And、uh, they are also the preparing some grip patterns of the fingers. The one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six kinds of grip pattern has been pre preliminary, preliminary prepared for the gripping pattern for their daily life. They also, the cover can be changed. The, これはマーベルってなんだっけマーベルムービーはえあアイロンマンだそうそうそうこれフローズンっていうのはディズニームービーのなんだっけえっとアナ,アナ雪ですアナアナえっ一人言うのえっスノークイーンとかアナアンドスノークイーンですかアイロンマンスターボーズのダースベイダーカバーとかねいやカバーキャンビーチェンジプラスパーソナリティちょっとどこかにどこかにあ、いいや、はい、これはおしまいねで、それで B バイオリックという本当のまあこの UK カンパニーはプレ,プ,レビプレゼントリーサイズ、これは4アダルトサイズこれはなんかフィーメールサイズとかチュートレンズサイズとかサイズオーソープリペアのそうだからあと14セレクタブルグリップパターンズ。The hand positions enable the you to perform a huge number of everyday activity with ease. ということで、these 14 grip pattern and hand position is prepared. For example, フックグリップとか、キーグリップとか、マウスグリップ。これはコンピューターマウスオペレーションのマウスグリップとか。あとオープンパワーのグリップとか,なんかピンチグリップピンチってこれですねパワーグリップパワーブラスティングとかプレジジョンクロージングとかバリアスカインドブグリッピングパターンハンドポスチャーフィンガーポスチャーイスプリペアーズフォーサポーティングザーサムアマーサムパーセンテージオブデイリーライフデイリーアクティビティスメビーゼーハーゼーハーブオーレディアナライズ The common people's daily activities, which, which kind of pattern is useful for daily life, maybe. So, therefore, the, they selected the, these 14 grip patterns and hand positions and prepared pre previously. Four l i s t of options in balanced software, selectable sum of positions. あこれグリップパターンの説明をここにあるかちょっと見てみますか。あアクティブインデックス。フィンガーアダクションというかナイフをバターナイフうんそしてフィンガーポイントってこうですかあこれはプッシュのボタンとキーボードとかとかまあそういうパターン is examined and then selected these moves finger patterns 
で、ネクセイザコントロールです。だから、not only the electro myograph EMD signals, but nerve signals, nerve signal itself directly or brain signal itself. For example, this、uh, Italia University's project is l o o k like this. And、uh, DARPA supported the、uh, John Hopkins、uh, the laboratory, modular processing team. d b i o n i c is also examining about this. ちょっと、マインドコントロールとか見てみますか Paolo Petra's yellow was the bionic man science fiction writers have long envisioned. Using only his mind to control a biomechanical hand connected to his nervous system. I had a car accident in 2006 caused by a drunk driver. My car turned upside down and I lost my left hand and forearm. My father was devastated and began searching online for projects that could help me. That pioneering project turned out to be at Rome's Campus Biomedico, a university and hospital developing a bionic hand in collaboration with the Santa Ana School in Pisa, Italy. After passing several tests, the Brazilian Petruzzello was enrolled in the Life Hand Project. Four miniature electrodes were surgically implanted in what remained of his left arm. These electrodes helped him recognize and control the biomechanical hand. Now, this is the one directly. Basically, we sent him various stimuli. He had to learn how to localize them in his lost hand and fingers. The prosthetic itself was not implanted, only connected through electrodes. I needed a lot of electrical stimulation. Like the majority of amputees, I still perceive my lost hand. s As they stimulated my arm with needles, I closed my eyes and tried to think that my hand did exist. You don't have your hand. You don't have your forearm, so how can you control the hand movements? It's difficult to explain. I closed my eyes and repeated to myself, Your hand does exist. It's there, it's in place. At a mental level, it's very stressing. I needed to concentrate. I needed silence. Then I said to myself, You can wiggle the fingers, you can pinch, you can clench a fist, you can open your hand, you can just do that. Though similar experiments have previously been performed, Project researcher said this was the first time a patient has been able to make such complex movements in a biomechanical hand using only his mind. The $3 million project was funded by the European Union and took five years to complete. When I succeeded in closing the hand, I felt like I scored a goal at the last minute. It was such an important moment. The researchers looked at me and I understood that we made it. I haven't done all this just for myself. I've lost a hand, but there are people who have lost more and are suffering. I felt like I was helping science, and for this reason, I never gave up. I'm happy now. Their next challenge connecting a patient's nervous system and prosthetic limb for years, not just a month. And Petru's Yellow is guaranteed one of those limbs. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Reed. というわけで、こういうだから、ダイレクトリー、ナーブス、エレクトロールが使われているのは、And this brain signal is captured, measured, and then it is used for the control of the.、Uh, the, in, the in addition, the presently the feedback. The touch, touch condition is f e d b a c k to the nerve system directly, not only output, not only input,、uh, not only input but, not only output, but also input. Yes, it's the same, same, same organization is do, using the EU, EU research project. And also, for example, the Sweden s University and the DARPA's project also there. Just DARPA, how do you know it? For example, the most recent one. Over the past probably decade, there's been a big push to improve the mechanics of the hand, thinking about the improved prostheses.、Um, but unfortunately, without sensation, it doesn't matter how good the hand is, you still can't perform at a human level. My name is Igor s p e n i k Approximately five and a half years ago, I was injured in an industrial accident, which resulted in the amputation of my hip. Prosthetic limbs have spent a lot of time in developing mechanics, the electronics, the control systems, all the engineering pieces we can think of. The thing that's been lacking has been the sense of touch, actual feedback, a truly closed loop feedback system. 
So what we have been able to add here is that feedback. I have to squeeze a little bit harder, but I can, I can feel it in my index and barely in my thumb because of the way the settings are. If I didn't have sensation, my fingers would just crush it. <laughs> when the hand is lost, the sensors or the hand are gone, but all the wiring that used to connect the nerves are still intact. The thing that's different about what we're doing from prior approaches is that we have electrodes directly on the residual nerve um, that's in that's left in the arm. That allows us to connect to the prior systems for feedback that were there before. So we placed electrodes in Igor's forearm about this level uh, that connect directly onto the peripheral nerves. And there's wires from underneath of his skin and then out this side here that we can connect it to an electrical stimulation system. That signal travels up to his brain and then he feels as though it's his hand. When somebody loses uh, their hand or an appendage, they lose, we often think about just the function that's been lost. The reality is they've also lost all the sensory connection. And that is probably the thing that makes us human in many ways. It's the piece that connects us to the world around us, and it's the piece that connects us to other people. So doubt and sensation, I normally would do this, I would do it with my left hand. Because I can't feel what I'm holding, I don't know how much pressure that I would use to hold the object firmly. But with the sensation on, I can put it in, and I feel the sensation in my index finger, and I'm holding it enough where it's not pulling the yoke out. Feels great. Yeah, have my hand back again. Today, feedback is important for improve their daily life activities. So, therefore, there are many kinds of uh, trials is there. Especially, my Dampa is emphasizing on that kind of feedback systems. Now, some similar feedback systems. And then, the one application is uh, feeding.
、えー、ユニバーシティ・オブ・エレクトリナック・コミュニケーション・イン・ジャパンとか、あと、リケトヨタ・リケングループとか、スイッツアランドとか、ATR とか、なんで、ここにあるのは、これは、ドゥク・ベトナミアン・フィルメ、is producing this kind of belt of to control medicine. Next up, we have a really interesting product demonstration.、Uh, Tan Lee, and, and Tan, if you could come out, she is the CEO of Emotive, which is working on the challenge of, of bioinformatics、uh, uh, and, and connecting that to the physical world. And she has a, a great product here that、uh, we're going to demonstrate. So please welcome Tan to the stage. Thank you.、Uh,
that we are now getting the full support of the Toyota company, and we thank Toyota for helping us turn that dream into a reality. To create the Delta Corporate Start Corporation to, to continue this product and other products. というわけで、あとはなんかステアチェアっていうのは、まあ、こういうパッセルウェイとか、なんかこういうところもあるけど、他にもペダルドリブンフィルチェアとかって、だから、だから手で動かす、ノット、ノットオンリー、ザ・ローリング・バイ・ハンド、バッツ・ザ・ペダル、ペダルね、コック、ペダリング・イズ・オーソー・インポータント・フォー・パラライズ・ピーポー、フォーザンプ、パラライズ・ピーポー・イズ・ Half body is normal, half body is paralyzed. So, therefore, the by, by using the normal leg, the pedaling, so the, this paralyzed leg is moved forward, for following the movement. So, this is a good for the stimulation for the brain. And the brain signal and control, control systems can be recovered in some cases. So, therefore, this kind of The mobility rehabilit mobile rehabilitation, increasing independence, safer ammunition, to be written in the book. Just to look at it, let's see. Supporting and motivating to move, and the training is good for their recovering condition status. ということで、このペダルドリブンフィールチェアは非常に有効で非常に非常に有効で非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常に非常とということで,で、まあまあ、これも、えっと、ベンチャーカンパニーで USA ベンチャーカンパニーとかフィールとかあるけどでちょっとこのマッスルスーツとかはちょっとスキップしていてでローアイツリミティはまあいろいろこれも also there many many bionic creams is there and the, for example the Honda producing the reusing the robotic technology by foot robot technology to support the body weight supporting system looks like this And the, this is maybe you know the Cyberdyne Corporation's Haru. This is the from 
えっと、スクバユニバーシティーズベンチャーカンパニー。ね、And also presently the Daiwa House One Company is the supporting this product. The not only the lower limb, but also the upper limb. The, and also the、えっと、これ、ペルビスムーブメント is also. And also it is practically used for the as a in Haneda Airport to carry the heavy weight. ヘビーラゲッジトランスファーのなんかサポートサ、アザサポーティングシステムズ、This is also practically used。というわけです。で、まあ、あとなんかパラエズパーソン、ウェアラブルパワーアシストロコモーションとか、なんか特になんか、えっと、これエグゾ、エグゾバイオニックスーツ is very famous for the これ、UC バークレイベースカンパニー。まあ、でも、プレゼンで most used this kind of system is rework。rework っていう、えっと、ここにバッテリーがあって、これワークがあって、ここに、えっと、ケインがあって、これをつきながら、by using this cane, the gate motion is supported。で、これはイスラエルカンパニーなんだけど、インジャパンは、安川エレクトリック is the Agency of this system. Agent of this system. ちょっとこれを見ますか。
the user has to understand which kind of pattern is here, which, which kind of support is applied by, produced by this system. He has to understand well to practical usage. So therefore, some amount of training time is necessary to use. And so on. And the limitation on the design issue. For example, the power supply. So that system can work in the battery. Power source of sufficient energy density for a certain period is necessary to work. And the materials, not heavy but tough, as aluminum array, titanium, CFRB, and so on. So the some advanced material is used. And flexibility adaptation for complex human joint, changing link lengths while moving using physical size variation. Adjustable lens, additional free joint or something is necessary. As I said previously, the knee joint is modeled as one, one degree of freedom rotation, but the, actually it is not so, for not, rotate, not only rotating, but also the some slipping or some movement moving. So therefore, the, it's not the correct one degree of freedom joint. So therefore, there are some flexibility, adaptability, adaptation. So therefore, the length between the, for example, the knee and ankle's length will be changed while moving. So how to support, how to adjust the physical size variation and also the changing link length while moving. So that is uh, the also important point, for example. Actuator, powerful but lightweight. For example, the pneumatic actuator. But more practically, the, some electromagnetic actuator is used. Power control to moderate excessive and unwanted movement as desired and fast and uh, accurate assist without time lag and overshoot. So without time lag, overshoot is also important point to control support. Okay. So you can sense it, eh? user intention. How to get the user intention? Voluntary movement versus surface electromyogram. Which is better? And both is used. Safety. Hardware to prevent pinching and folding uh, by mechanical parts, software to detect and prevent invalid and unsafe motions. Unsafe motions. And finally, finally cost. Cost of beneficial ratio is, is very important. And the need. Because the, this system only support working. To support working, to support movement, how much you can take, you can take. Okay. For example, the, for example, 10 is okay, but 100 yen, is too expensive maybe. So cost-benefit ratio is also important. Just the, uh, これは only the what? Announcement. HCR っていうのは、えっと、International Home Care and Rehabilitation Exhibition is annually held in Tokyo. Largest home care and rehabilitation exhibition in Japan, equipment from handmade daily living aids through the state of art care related aids that can be showed, shown here. HCR at a glance film review is also here. For example, these two is 2015, these two is 2016. So that if you can, if you can, you should. Annually, autumn, maybe November. October. 